Welcome to the Friends Dream Man channel. I'm your host Robert Sherwood. I'm going to show you how to put in inline basins to grab up bulk water at the surface. And I'm going to show you how to take that to a pop-up emitter and discharge that away from your yard. A lot of times homeowners just have these giant pooling ponding areas of water and they need to know how to move it. They just need to know how to move that surface water to a pop-up emitter like you see here to an area of discharge where you're getting rid of all that water that normally lies in your backyard. Now we're going to show you how to put in one of these inline basins. This is a solid pipe. This is not a perforated pipe with holes. This is just going to be just a surface water collection system. This is not a French drain. So you can see how quick and easy that inline basin just snapped right onto that solid pipe. Now the guys went ahead and they put fabric down and then put the inline basin on top of the fabric. Look at how quick and easy that this drainage pipe is going to connect to this inline basin. These inline basins are really, really convenient. I think for the homeowner, it doesn't get any easier. It doesn't require any tools. It really doesn't require any skill. It's nice if you're not doing this on a day in, day out basis. You want something that's going to be really user friendly. And this is just that. So the guys went ahead and they put some stone on top of the fabric and they're burrito wrapping around the basin. The basin has a bunch of holes drilled in it and we want that water to leach out after the rain event. There's going to be some water left in the basin. This is a small basin and it won't take much to leach that dry. That way you don't have a mosquito hatchery or during really hot weather a strong odor because that's what will happen. Here's another one that we're doing. We're putting these in the low-lying areas because they'll collect the water. You always want to put a collection system together where you mark the lowest points in the yard, and that's where you're going to put these catch basins, these inline basins. So the guy's got fabric underneath the basin. Now they're packing stone on top of the fabric, and then they're setting that basin on a bed of stone. They're going to roll up that fabric and pin it, they're going to breeder wrap that really nice, and then they'll put the native soil right back on top of it. Now, here's a pop-up emitter. We're going to show you how we basically take care of the pop-up emitter like a mini dry well. We don't want it to hold any water either for all those same reasons. You know, we don't want water hanging around to where if it's really warm out, you end up with those strong odors in your yard. You don't want a mosquito hatchery or petri dish. And if you're in the north... You don't want this to freeze up come wintertime and then not work for you. So you can see they packed all the native soil underneath this turf restrictor plate for this inlet basin. Super easy, super quick, super DIY friendly, that's for sure. We're going to do the pop-up emitter this exact same way. We have a pop-up emitter that is our pop-up emitter catch basin hybrid and it has a sump in the bottom. All right, so this is what you guys always wanted to see. Go back, catch it during the rain, show us what it does. So here we are. We have a really, really hard rain event. We have so much surface water. Normally this would collect and it would pond and it would pool. But since we put one of these inline basins in every single pothole, we're able to grab up all that water and then take it to the pop-up emitter and discharge it away from the house, away from those low-lying areas that usually would hold water. When you take the water in an, an inline basin underground, you have a solid pipe, you pipe it through some of those high points that dam it into the yard, you go ahead and dig a little deeper in those high points, and you just make sure that you have some slope Put about 1% slope on it. That's all you need. Don't have to work that hard at it. 1% comes pretty easy. And you just keep hitting all these points of collection with one of these inline catch basins. You can see when the water's running into that low spot in that backyard, it's the perfect place to collect the water. Perfect place. This is definitely the right way to build a yard drain surface water collection system. You don't want to be bringing in dirt and filling in these low spots. That's the last thing you want. These low spots are found money in my business. You put a collection basin in them, done. You're 
well on your way to having a drier yard, a much more enjoyable yard that you can be proud of, that you and your family can utilize instead of the kids and the dogs splashing through the mud, playing in the puddles. You just grab that right up right at the time of that rain event. You evacuate it quickly. If you evacuate it quickly, you're not going to end up with saturated soil. The reason why your yard gets all soft and muddy and it's like a pudding concentration, it's just really, really, you know, it just turns to basically mush. Well, that's because the water was left to lay there. There's no doubt about it. This is as easy as it gets. When it comes to putting in anything, water control, a collection system for surface water with inline basins to a pop-up emitter or to an outdoor sump pump system, one or the other, that is the easiest system for anybody to put in, whether it's a homeowner, whether it's a DIYer, whether it's the contractor. These inlet basins grab up the water. You can just see how well they work on 1% slope. No need to work any harder at it than that. I'm telling you, 1% slope is pretty easy to achieve, and then you don't end up digging too deep. You try for 2% or 3%, and you're going to get deep in a hurry. You don't need it. Just get 1% slope on those inlet basins, take it to a pop-up emitter, and discharge it wherever that desired area of discharge may be for your yard. Here you can see this water just literally like a funneling you know, a funneling effect. It's just grabbing up all the water. Now, notice how there's a turf restrictor plate around that four-inch grate. That's so that the lawn doesn't grow over that inlet grate. We want this thing waiting and ready for the next rain event. We don't want the grass to grow over it. And then you end up with a flooded yard. Then you're looking for that four-inch inlet. You can't find it. Sometimes you're frustrated because it takes quite a bit of your time to find it and locate it. And the fact that it wasn't, you know, waiting and ready, so to speak, and it had grass grown over it and wouldn't let the water in, that's just nothing but frustration. When you have a turf restrictor plate, like we designed this inlet basin so that you don't have to worry about the grass growing over it, it's going to be waiting and ready you see how it's through and through that's an inline basin see how the water keeps going right through it down the line to the next inlet basin through and through down the line to the next inland basin you run them in series and you take them to a pop-up emitter to wherever you need to discharge that water to get it off of the property and again if you can't get the one percent slope Then you just put in an outdoor sump pump system at the end of the line, and then you lift and push that water where it needs to go. It couldn't get any easier. This was developed and designed, are indeed, by the very men that you see in these videos. The French Drain Man crew built this inlet basin, beautiful inline basin. We got our Hydrodynamics, look at that, working really, really well for us. So easy to install it because it's so slender, it'll fit in any trench. And then our pop-up emitter, which AKA six inch pop-up emitter killer, you're gonna move all the water that you need with just this one pop-up emitter. Whether you wanna run six of your gutter drains to it, It's the biggest pop-up emitter in the 4-inch category on the market. It's the only one that you can open up and put your hand in. This one here is our catch basin pop-up emitter with a sump hybrid. Really proud of what we're accomplishing here at French Drain Man. we got a really nice line of user-friendly products for the DIYer. That was the goal, to make it simple, keep it simple. And... Honestly, it doesn't get any easier and more affordable than this system that I'm showing you here. So if you guys like this system, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're, well, supportive of us developing more products like this that are super easy for the DIYer, give us a suggestion of what you think the industry is lacking 
or what the industry needs for refinement, we'd love to hear it in the comments section. All right, everybody. Until that next video.